Welcome to the North Ops Fire Weather webcast for Sunday, July 16th, 2023. This morning's water vapor loop so it shows strong upper level ridging still centered over North Ops, but beginning to gradually shift to the east. A plume of mid level moisture can be seen offshore of South Ops and moving north towards our area. Some mid level instability indicator clouds associated with the moisture can be seen on the visible satellite loop, adding confidence to the potential for high based fast moving thunderstorm activity this evening through Monday morning. The marine stratus layer along the coast remains quite shallow this morning, but will begin deepening this afternoon through Monday. 500 millibar forecast maps show the ridge continuing to slowly shift to the east today as a trough approaches the coast. The ridge will break down tonight through Monday as the trough swings onshore and into the Pacific Northwest. Weaker troughing will linger to the north on Tuesday while ridging to the south and east begins strengthening again. Mid-level moisture graphics show the plume of moisture currently offshore of South Ops reaching the Greater Bay Area this afternoon and continuing inland to the northeast tonight through Monday morning. Do note that the models have trended further to the west and north with this wave as compared to previous runs, expanding the areas of nocturnal thunderstorm concerns. Southwest flow aloft will continue to strengthen Monday and push the moisture away to the east with it lingering the longest in the Lake Tahoe vicinity. Precipitation forecast graphics show isolated a widely scattered high-based fast-moving and thus mostly dry thunderstorm potential beginning along the mid-coast Mendocino this evening. There is also a very slight chance of elevated convection around the Greater Bay Area late afternoon into early evening, but any lightning there should be much more sparse if it occurs. Thunderstorm potential will continue to increase along the Mendocino through late evening, then spread into portions of the Sacramento Valley and western foothills of the northern Sierra Mountains a little after midnight and continue through early Monday morning. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will develop across northeast California, the far east side, and additional portions of the northern Sierra Mountains late tonight through Monday morning. Isolated thunderstorm chances will continue in the Lake Tahoe vicinity Monday afternoon and evening, though it should remain mainly east of North Ops. Wind and relative humidity forecast graphics show that broad areas of moderate to poor overnight relative humidity recoveries occurred last night, with poor to very poor recoveries along the northern Sierra slopes and ridges. Strengthening onshore flow this afternoon and evening will bring widespread breezy conditions to North Ops, with west-southwest to northwest coastal gap winds, northwest winds in the north, and southwest winds from the Cascade Sierra Crest eastward all increasing into the 20 to 30 mile an hour range this afternoon. Relative humidities will remain rather dry along all but the coast, with widespread afternoon minimums in the single digits and teens combined with the increasing winds. Gusty southwest winds will continue in the east through the evening, with west-southwest to northwest coastal gap winds continuing through the night. Strong outflow winds from thunderstorms will be an additional concern through the night as well. Relative humidity recoveries will see improvements in the west and north tonight, though will remain poor in central and eastern areas. Stronger and more widespread gusty southwest to northwest winds will develop on Monday, with southwest winds increasing into the 30 to 45 mile an hour range from the Cascade Sierra Crest eastward and peak gusts of 25 to 40 miles an hour through coastal gap areas. Relative humidities and temperatures will continue moderating in western areas Monday, with warm and rather dry conditions continuing in central and eastern areas. Winds will gradually diminish Monday night, with breezy to locally windy coastal gap and southwest winds from the crest eastward returning Tuesday afternoon and evening. 500 millibar forecast graphics for Wednesday through Saturday show troughing persisting along the coast while ridging strengthens inland. Warm and dry conditions are expected through this time period, with additional warming possible Friday and Saturday. Wind graphics show moderate onshore flow continuing along the coast, with locally windy afternoon and evening southwest to northwest winds continuing in coastal gap areas and from the Cascade Sierra Crest eastward. The North Ops significant fire potential outlook shows moderate risk for all but the coastal lowlands for Sunday and Monday, with a mix of wind, low relative humidity, and dry thunderstorm concerns as the upper level ridge breaks down. The South Ops significant fire potential outlook shows a mix of risk conditions for the next seven days, with an overall drying trend continuing. And now to sum up the North Ops fire weather highlights. The hot and dry upper level ridge overhead will begin gradually shifting to the east today, then break down more thoroughly on Monday as a trough swings onshore into the Pacific Northwest. 
Isolated to widely scattered, high-based, fast-moving, mostly dry thunderstorms are possible over the mid-coast Mendocino beginning this evening, around the edges of the Sacramento Valley and along the west slopes of the northern Sierra Mountains tonight through early Monday morning, and across northeast California, the northern Sierra Mountains and far east side late tonight through Monday morning. Southwest winds will strengthen this afternoon and evening, favoring areas east of the Cascade Sierra Crest, with stronger and more widespread west-southwest winds in the east on Monday and enhanced coastal gap winds continuing in the west.